Okay, uh, this is a hopefully going to be an easy lesson on Wall of Glass by Liam Gallagher. Um, I didn't think I liked Liam Gallagher, but as I do, I've been playing this one, and hopefully it'll uh, show you an easy way to play it. If you want to play it in the open chords, it's all going to bar chords. Well, there's a lot of bar chords, and uh, it's a bit of a stretch if you if you just trying to you know begin or or uh, strum along to it. So the easy way to do it, I like the easy way, is get the old trusty capo, place it on the third fret, okay? On the third fret. Now that will put it in the same key as the record, so if you listen to Liam Gallagher you'll be able to strum along to your heart's content in the same key. If you want to play it on your own and you want to lower it because it's a bit high or go up because it's a bit low then you just move your capo up or down, fret by fret. And see what suits your voice. Superb. Right, here we go. Let's see where we go with this then. This isn't the first time. So, this intro, I'm going to play it and I'm going to show you then what the chords are. You can probably see them hopefully. Okay, I'm doing downward strums for all of it. Just put an accent on some of the strums going down, 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 down. I'm using that for the intro. Right, what chords am I using? Here we go then. So the chords are going to be C, G, A sus two, E minor. Okay, what's the A sus 2? Here you shout, okay, I'll tell you. It's like an A. Take the bottom finger off. Simple as that, okay? Right, so we're going to do that twice, so. And then this next part is C. This is your only bar chord, B minor. Back to that E minor. Then you're going to stay on the C and then move to a D. Okay. Okay, so far. Right. First verse, same as the second verse, and chord wise which makes it easy for us. So, it starts off, and I apologise if there's any mess up in the lyrics, wouldn't be the first time for that either. Uh, so, um, they're, they're going to start off in this A minor shape. Uh, I'll play it through and sing it, and then show you what I'm doing. So, You would keep the secrets in you You've been keeping path for me Oh, I think you know Anyone could walk up to you Anyone could see right through your eyes All night Now the string pattern I'm trying to go down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. Am I? Down, down, up, down, down, down That's it Down, down, up, up Okay, confuse myself there. Right, what am I playing? Here we go then. So, um, I'm playing A minor, all relative to the cap, I remember. A minor. Onto a B minor. To E minor. That's the first three. And when you go round again, you go A minor. To B minor. To D major. Okay, that's your first verse, and the first verse is exactly the same chord progression as the second verse. Easy up to yet. So all I've done is change the strumming pattern a little bit for the uh, the verse part. So now we're into the chorus. 
So the chorus goes, and I'm using exactly the same chord progression now as the intro with, with downward strums. Same again. It's a bit of a push for me vocally, but it goes. I don't mean to be unkind, but I see what's in your mind. And the stone you throw will turn back in its path. One day you shatter like a wall of glass, wall of glass. And design of vaccination is love. You get along. Okay, I'm at, into that second verse there. So, it's exactly the same chord progression in that uh, chorus. Um, and it's sort of an extended chorus because you play it twice, don't you? And all I'm doing when I'm playing the second part of it, as you listen to it then, is I've just altered my strumming pattern for. For that part, I'm just going. Okay. I hope we're okay up to yet. Um, and and that's it. I use those three strumming patterns to get me through the whole of the song. Uh, and it's just simply those chords to the whole the song, there's no change at all. The only part that you might hear me play was that I dropped onto this E minor before I went into the second verse. Okay, now it drops onto that E minor again when there's a big instrumental, and you'll know if you listen to the song what I'm talking about. Um, I tend to drop on that E minor, and I don't do it for the whole of the instrumental, I just do it for that. Exactly the same length I've just done it there. So you do it for a count of four, and then I go back into the the chorus again to lead me on to the end of the song. Because uh, I think it's just a bit boring to just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back into the chorus. It's just too long for me, and I think it's a bit boring if you're playing it to people. So I just do it for a, a, a length of four and then straight back into the, the choruses to lead out. Um, and finally, one last thing, as you come into the end, um, the very last chord is going to be your E major as you finish on. Okay, so it's going. This is the chorus coming out. What a blend. Like a wall of glass. Okay, and that's that, and that's how I, I tend to finish it. You can embellish it to your heart's content, you can do little hammer ons with your D's and also with your A minors or anywhere through it, through as you, you're playing your, um, your chord progression. So give it a go. Uh, hopefully, that's a little bit quicker than normally do it, uh, and it'll be some help to you. I've not played the whole song because. It's all, it's just boring, takes up too much time, doesn't it? So I've shown you how to get through the chord progression of it and the sort of makeup of the song. Have a look, play along to it on the video. Good luck. See you next time.